For the last month, I have been training to be a pro climber because I want to compete in an IFSC World Cup. And in this video, I'm going to talk about the progress that I've made so far. I'm also going to tell the story of how I got my first red tag at my gym, which is a V8 V10. So let's get into my first of two sessions this week. <sighs> All right, so today is my first day back after being sick, and I'm just taking it easy. They just they just set a new slab, so I'm gonna probably just do a bunch of slab climbs, but I'm still gonna try some hard stuff. So with this blue climb, I'm not able to get it, but I am noticing that I'm getting better at reading roots and like recognizing that, oh, that move is like a little press catch thing. And I don't think I would have noticed that, you know, a couple weeks ago. So like I am noticing that I'm getting better technique wise and root reading wise just from climbing the amount I'm climbing. One thing that I've noticed is that if I go into a session thinking I'm going to top something and then I don't top it, I have a lot less fun than if I go into a session just intending to climb and have fun. So now that I know that about myself, I can go into every session just wanting to climb and have fun and not intending to top certain boulders. Now I'm going to top this boulder. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I mean, I might top it, but I'm just going to I'm just going to climb it and have fun. So I wasn't able to top the climb on Sunday, but I mean, it's still a win because I had fun and I climbed. And just to put this in perspective a little bit, this wasn't the first day I attempted this climb. I tried it another day and sunk at least 15 attempts into it. So I had no idea if I could even do this climb, but I wasn't gonna give up. All right, I'm back at the gym, let's get climbing. All right. Am I in the frame? Okay, my head's kind of blocking it, but the first climb today is gonna be this green one. And it's a 8-10, which is something that I wouldn't have even attempted um, back when I first started training. But now I'm more confident and I'm, I feel like I'm better and I feel like I'm good enough to like try this stuff. Doesn't mean I'll get it, you know. This is where I cut to like me falling like 10 times on it, but hey, we'll see. Even though it may not look like it, right now I'm trying to like be very intentional with each attempt and just sort of think about like what my body is doing and how I can do it a little bit better each time. Unlike the past where I've, I've sort of just thrown my body at the wall a bunch of times and hope I stuck. If, if, you, uh, if you're catching my uh, drift right now on certain climbs. It's hard climb. If only I had a brush. <laughs> I don't feel like, to like slow you down. So I wasn't able to get the climb, but that's okay. And I'm back to this climb. <laughs> okay, I did not expect to get that just first try. Gotta get hydrated after that. There's no straw. <laughs> so that was my first ever red tag at this gym, which means V8-V10. Clearly, like, that means I'm, like, I'm improving. Like, I don't even know what to say. Like, that, that, that's crazy. Oh, and that really feels good also because I like had to work hard for that. Like it, it's like I fell so many times. Like I know it's not just like an easier climb with a with a red tag on it. Like it is an actual red tag. So that's crazy. That feels so good.
All right, if you've made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I'm not gonna have a video up next week because I'm going on vacation, but after that, I should be back to my normal one video a week schedule. I hope you enjoyed this episode and I will see you in the next one.